Welcome back to our new lesson. We have the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a binomial distribution. So again, pag sinabi natin binomial distribution, yun yung distribution natin that includes two probability. The probability of success and the probability of failure. So halimbawa, so what is the probability of success uh, for 4 to appear in throwing a dice. So, meron siyang 1 over 6. And what is the probability of failure? So, meron siyang 5 over 6. So, let's have now the basic concept regarding the mean variance and standard deviation of a binomial probability distribution. So, let's start first with the mean. So, the mean pertains to the expected value of the probability. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Halimbawa, naghagis ako ng coin. Ilan yung probability na lalabas yung head? So, meron siyang 1 over 2 probability. So, kung iahagis ko yung coin ng isang beses, the probability that the head will appear is 1 over 2 or 50%. So, ang tanong ngayon, so, ilan yung probability pag pitong beses ko hinagis yung coin? So, iahagis ko yung coin ng 7 times, what is the probability that the head will appear? So, yun ang hinahanap natin value, expected value of the probability. Ano yung in-expect natin? So, ilang beses natin in-expect na lalabas yung head out of the 7 tosses of coin. Okay, so our mean is represented by expected value of x. So expected value of the probability x or probability of x is equals to mu. So yung gagamitin nating symbol to represent our mean is the Greek letter mu. So yung, yung parang letter u na maarte. So Greek letter mu. And then so the formula is n times p. So n pertains to the number of trials as what we have discussed last time in our binomial probability distribution. And letter P pertains to the probability of success. So, yun lang yung dalawang kailangan natin na value to compute for the mean. And then, variance. So, basic concept regarding the variance. So, the variance came from the word variation or vary. Pagkakaiba. Okay? So, it pertains to the or it indicates how probabilities vary. So, ini-indicate niya kung paano nagkaiba-iba yung probability. Okay? So, the variance, variance will be represented by variance of the probability, variance of the probability of X, or it can be represented by the Greek letter sigma to the second power. So, laging may second power yung ating variable or representation for variance. So, it's equal to mean times Q. So, yung ating... Greek letter mu dito pertains to the mean, while yung ating letter Q, yan naman yung contrary dun sa ating letter P. So, it pertains to the probability of failure. So, yun ang kailangan natin data. So, therefore, this will be a prerequisite topic to the mean. Kailangan makompute muna yung mean bago makompute yung variance. And then, third, we have the, our standard deviation. So, standard deviation pertains to the difference or how the probability differs or deviate from the mean. So, gaano ba kalayo? Ano yung diferensya ng ating probability, ng tamang probability dun sa mean? Okay, so the lower the standard deviation, so the lesser the difference between the probability and the mean. Pag mataas naman ang standard deviation natin, ibig sabihin na malaki yung difference natin. Okay, so our uh, standard deviation will be represented by, again, sigma letter, pero tatanggalin na yung second power. Then the formula will be the square root of the variance. So kailangan masolve natin yung variance muna bago masolve ang standard deviation. So yun ang kailangan natin for the mean, variance, and standard deviation. Okay, and then as we go back, so let's review again the formula. So we have the formula for the mean. So the mean is equal to number of trials times para probability of success. Then we have our variance. So variance is equal to uh, mean times probability of failure. Then we have our standard deviation, and the standard deviation is equal to square root of the variance. So the variance is prerequisite to the mean. Well, the standard deviation is prerequisite to the variance. So, kailangan makompute muna yung mean para makompute yung variance. 
kailangan makompute yung variance para makompute ang standard deviation. Okay, so let's have an example here. So a die is thrown 25 times with the number 4 appearing 5 times. So yahagis ko daw yung hinagis ko daw yung dice ng 25 times. Tapos out of the 25, lumabas yung 4 ng limang beses. So therefore, yung ating 25 times, so that will be our uh, number of possible outcome. Kasi meron talagang 25 times, 25 result na lalabas pag 25 times ko hinagis yung dice. Then yung 5 times naman natin, that will be the number of expected output or expected outcome. So napalabas natin yung 4 ng limang beses out of the 25 times that we've thrown the dice. Then question, if the dice will be thrown 10 times, so 10 times more, find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So kung ihagis ko parang ng 10 beses ulit yung dice, using our previous statement as our probability, so what will be the mean or the expected value, what will be the variance, and what will be the standard deviation? So therefore, our probability of success will be 5 over 25 kasi nga limang beses lumabas yung 4 sa 25 na hagis nung dice. So 5 over 25, the lowest term is 1 over 5. So ni lowest term natin para madaling mag-compute mamaya. Mas mababa yung number, mas madaling mag-compute. Then kung yan ang ating probability of success, ano naman yung probability of failure natin? So, syempre, out of 25, yung 20 times doon, hindi lalabas yung 4 or hindi lumabas yung 4. So, meron tayong 20 over 25 and that will be equal to 4 over 5. And ang ating letter N naman, ang ating number of trials now is 10. Hindi yung 25 ba? Kasi yung ating basis eh. Yan yung ating basis yung 25 times. So, 10 ang ating number of trials. So, therefore, letter N is equal to 10. So, using those information, we can now compute for the mean. So, pwede tayo mag-compute ngayon ng mean. So, mean is equal to n times p. So, kunin mo lang si letter n, that is 10. And then, multiply mo kay p, and that is 1 over 5. So, basic multiplication of fraction. So, 10 times 1 is 10 divided by 5, and that will be equal to 2. So, therefore, our expected value or our mean is equal to 2. Kung so, ang hiyahagis ko raw ng 10 times yung dice ulit, based on the given probability, in-expect ko na lalabas yung 2 ng dalawang beses. Okay? So, ulit ha. Kung ihagis ko yung dice ulit ng 10 beses pa, based on the given problem, the probability that, do, that 4 will appear is 2. Yun yung expected value ko. So, out of 10, dalawang beses pa siya lalabas yung 4 na yun. And then, so, after computing the mean, we can now compute for our variance. So, our variance is equal to, so, again, sigma to the second power. Laging merong second power yung ating formula for variance. So, sigma or variance is equal to mean times the probability of failure. So, ang mean natin ay 2. Nakuha na natin kanina, 2. Ang probability of failure naman natin ay 4 over 5. So, therefore, that will be 2 times 4 over 5. So, 2 times 4 is 8 divided by 5, and that will be 1.6. Okay, so that will be our variance. So, yun yung ating differences in the probability, 1.6. Then, after the variance, we are now able to compute for the standard deviation. And the standard deviation will be equal to the square root of the variance. So, kunin mo lang yung 1.6, kuha na mo ng square root. So, gamit kayo ng calculator. And the square root is 1.26. The square root of our variance is 1.26. So, therefore, the standard deviation is 1.26. So, which means na meron siyang 1.26 na deviation from the mean. So, yun yung difference natin from the mean. So, let's proceed now. Let's have now example number 2. So, example number 2, your company makes bicycles. 90% pass the final inspection. So, upon quality control. So, upon inspection, so yung 90% daw sa lahat ng ginagawang bike na yun, pumapasa sa inspection. Then yung 10%, bagsak, kailangan pang i-repair, kailangan pang i-fix. So, hindi pumasa sa quality control yung 10% nun. So, therefore, yung 90%, ito yung ating probability of success. ba 
kasi meron siyang 90% probability na pasado yung bicycle. Halimbawa, gumawa ka pa ng isa, may 90% possibility yon na papasa sa inspection yon. Then meron siyang 10% na probability na babagsak siya sa inspection. And then, yung 10% natin, so, kung yung 0.9 ng ating probability of success, kinonvert lang natin sa decimal yung 90%. So, yung ating 10% will be our probability of failure, and that will be equal to 0.1. So, ngayon, based on the given data, what is the expected mean, variance, and standard deviation of the next four next inspections? So, kung inspect ko pa yung apat na ginawang buy, ano yung probability na papasa siya sa inspection? Okay, so yun ang ating uh, data. So therefore, yung ating 4 will be our number of trials. So yun yung tatlong data na kailangan lang natin. So 0.9, probability of success. 0.1, the probability of failure. And 4 is our letter N or the number of trials. Okay, so let's proceed now. So let's compute for our mean. So N times P. So our letter N is 4. Our letter P is 0.9. So 4 times 0.9 and that will be equal to 3.6. Then variance. So we have here our mean, which is equal to 3.6 times probability of failure, and that is 0.1. So 3.6 times 0.1, and that is equal to 0 0.36. Then for the standard deviation, so kukunin lang natin square root ng 0 0.36, and that will be 0 0.6. So we have the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Okay, proceed now. So, we'll have now our uh, practice problem. So, practice problem na tayo regarding the mean variance and standard deviation. So, approximately 10% of, uh, of all the people are left-handed. So, upon research, 10% raw of uh, people that are included in the research are left-handed. So, consider a grouping of 10 people. Find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So, kung meron akong sampung tao doon, ilan yung probability doon na merong left-handed? Then, also, find for the variance and find for the standard deviation. So, based on our given data, ilan ang probability of success natin? 10%. So, that is 0 0.1 or 1 over 10. So, 0 0.1. Then, ilan yung probability of failure? So, ilan ba yung natira kay 10%? Edi, 90%. Diba? So, ang ating probability of failure ay 0.9. Then, ilan ang ating letter N? Ilan ang kinonsider natin in our random experiment? And that will be 10 people. So, ang ating letter N ay 10. So, based on those data, so we have the probability of success, which is uh, 0.1, probability of failure, which is 0.9, and our N, which is 10. So, we are now able to find for the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Okay, so you will answer this problem and the answer will be commented down in the comment box. Okay, see you on the next lesson. So, that will be our lesson regarding the mean, variance, standard deviation of a binomial distribution.